Hey y'all, greetings, greetings. Happy summer solstice. This is Chef B here. Welcome back to my channel. If you're new, please make sure that you subscribe, turn on those notifications so that you are informed when we drop a new video. ATL is blazing, all right? And so I wanna talk to you guys about this. Yes, watermelon. So you guys were super excited about my watermelon frying video. So I wanna give you guys another video. When I cut this open, you're gonna see what kind of watermelon this is. Do you guys see what's going on inside? Let me break it open for you. <laughs> Look at this. <sighs> yes, this is a yellow meat watermelon. Super exciting. I love making watermelon juice in the summer. And I found that whenever I make watermelon juice with yellow watermelon, or I like to call it golden watermelon, it actually turns green. <laughs> And it turns green because I actually juice it with the rinds. So I'm going to show you guys how to do a beautiful golden watermelon juice. And really what we're gonna do is just re remove some of the rind so that we can preserve that gorgeous watermelon color. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna turn this these watermelons over like so. And then what we're gonna do is we're gonna actually just trim off just trim off some of the rind, okay? So we're just doing thin cuts off of the rind, so it's super, super thin. Again, what we're doing is we want to make sure that we get that beautiful yellow color. And sometimes when you juice with the rind, uh, it basically just makes the whole watermelon green, which is not a problem, but it's so vibrant and gorgeous. It's like, I want, I want that yellow. I want that yellow. So these are our watermelons. All the skin, the rind has been removed. Really this is the outer layer. And what we're gonna do next is we're gonna cut these up into small pieces and get them ready for juicing. It's ready to go. Super gorgeous. As you can see, this removing of the rind will ensure that we get that beautiful golden color. Now look, you know I love saving the rind, so you can absolutely save the rind to juice it later. I did something like that in another video, so we have that one as a, refer a reference. But y'all, we are going to juice this, and you're gonna see how gorgeous this is when we bring it all together. We have everything ready to go, and I'm actually using a Breville, um, because remember, I do two squeezes. We're gonna juice, we're going to actually uh, catch some of the pulp in our catch bin, and then what we're going to do is we're going to just do a second squeeze so that we can get all of the juice from, from the wonderful golden watermelon, all right? Bag in here, a bag. And then once I pull it out, I'm just squeezing all of the Juice. Look at that. So you you want to make sure you do this step because there's so much juice that you'll waste if you don't do this step. Look at all that juice. All right. All right. And I got most of it out already. And then I just use a little sieve just to make sure that everything is nice and smooth. All right. So I just wanted to quickly show you how much watermelon juice we got out of those two watermelons. Pretty amazing, right? Pretty amazing. And just to celebrate the start to the summer solstice, uh, I am going to taste a little bit of it. All right, look at that beautiful, add a little bit more in there. Look at that gorgeous watermelon color. Just amazing. Let's taste. Oh my gosh, it's so light and refreshing. And it's just summer. All right, y'all, I hope you enjoyed this video. Please be sure to like, subscribe, turn on those notifications so you are the first to know when we have our next video uploaded. All right, y'all, peace and love. Happy summer solstice.